well hello there uh, everyone i hope you are all well in this lockdown due to our very favorite corona chan and i just thought that i would make a new video on a thing which i changed to my desktop environment uh, to my desktop in general so are you seeing any new changes to desktop environment rather to my desktop environment rather uh, except these icons and the genome 3.36 shell are you seeing any changes uh, if not major changes then uh, let me make it clear to you i have just switched to a new distribution and it is none other than manjao now you can see i'm running here manjaro okay so it ships with the latest Linux kernel, latex, latest, latest stable Linux kernel available right now. And the main reason why I switched to Manjaro from Ubuntu uh, is because of its advantages over others. Obviously, that's the reason. Uh, let me just go through it. Like, here's an article from how to geek like why i switched from ubuntu to manjaro linux so i will list down the all the article links down below and as you can see here uh, you know ubuntu is actually owned by canonical and it's sort of like a commercial model so by default it packages itself with many softwares which are not required day-to-day -day life and many other daemons also which keep running in the background and tend to slow your computer down even more than what it actually is capable of moreover uh, your battery life also significantly increases on manjaro yeah that's my one of the main change points which uh, one of the main points which made me change or switch to manjaro from ubuntu I have been using Debian based distros raw Debian as well as Ubuntu uh, for almost like three years and after that I have decided to switch because you know what uh, everyone is saying that this Ubuntu release is the best Ubuntu release ever yeah I mean that's honestly a very good point that this Ubuntu release is one of the best but on the expense it is uh, actually it's made for the high-end users who might have like a huge ton of hard hardware support which can easily facilitate their workflow but for the general Linux users this will hamper their performance one way or other be it be like uh, the worst battery life in laptops yeah I know uh, they advertise like much more battery life but after installing few softwares you can just experience it yourself now this is just a manjaro home page uh, i've just shown you link will be in the uh, description section below links to this so why i switch to manjaro I mean, as you can see here let me just copy this open my terminal and paste it you can see i have right now after installing many many things yeah i also have the snapd services because you know like youtube music i am a big youtube music fan and youtube music is available as snap so for this reason i have snapd otherwise it would not be required so as you can see here after installing everything i have 35 unit packages or files but on a stock ubuntu it has like 90 files so like 90 things running on the background one by one by one by one and sucking up your resources so if you are on a laptop like me and you are on a gaming laptop like me which doesn't have enough battery life to go for like three hours also this can be a huge deal like you'll get less than two hours of battery life if you are running ubuntu with you know the stock one and then there's this Manjaro is lean so since it's a it's based on Arch Linux the holy grail of Linux that's why it's stripped down to like the only the core parts which are required essentially Manjaro also comes with its own theming which of course you all can change 
by going into the tweak tool oh and one more thing uh, as the la uh, the last video I showed that here will be extension extensions menu so it has now been shifted to extensions you can see to the extensions app it's now no longer available in this menu in Manjaro at least so there's that and Manjaro is also a bleeding edge release like every new version of ADV app get released it is there in Manjaro or in Arch repositories. One of the other thing which actually made me switch, all of these are okay, but mainly you can easily get any building release from the developer side also. That's not a big deal, at least for me. The main ch turning point for me was this AUR, Arch Users Repository. So this Arch Users Repository, uh, let me just show you rather than describing it. It's this. You can see, uh, wait, I have crappy internet connection right now. So there's that. Now let me just do this. Uh, wait, categories. Okay. For example, you want something, but it is not in the official repositories. What do we do? I mean, in Linux general, we go to like GitHub links, like for um, what? I mean, what can you search like let's say ah yeah there's one thing undervolt okay so for example this is a software or app or a plugin which you can install by doing this then or from source like git cloning it then running the commands one by one by one and everything else configuring all of it like a machine but uh, this is actually a bad example but you get the point like if you have any repositories on the github and you want to just make it from the source it's a big hassle but on here if you just enable uh, let me just your preferences give my hyper secure password and as you can see I have just enabled here AUR then let me just search undervolt it should just take one minute one second actually but it's taking long yeah okay now I have not installed undervolt I use Intel undervolt it's for some reason doesn't work but as you can see all of these are not available in the repo repositories official repositories these are all available in the AUR so what AUR does is let's say I click here and here's the list of uh, dependencies let's click on build files so what AUR does is exactly the same as mentioned here. It just clones the repo to your uh, temporary file that's slash temp. Then it executes the commands one by one like build cd package name this make then make everything here you know everything. So just that and if you make any like wrong decisions like what do you say yeah okay if you just like screw something up like uh, let me just put it here okay let me just write something now if you mess this up there's no problem just click on reset build files uh, I should take effect yeah effect okay so there's that and when you download from AUR everything uh, is also updatable but uh, this PAMAC or package manager it checks for updates even uh, continuously oh one more thing I have implemented this transparency and all so overall I have switched to Manjaro and it's paying off everything like my as you can see from my power statistics our laptop battery you can see my battery power has significantly increased like not that much but like half an hour about half an hour increased battery life so if you want half an hour increased battery life you can switch to Manjaro oh one more thing 
like where this manual settings okay so from manjaro has this proprietary oh no pro, not proprietary what am i telling this manjaro settings manager so from here you can just install any kernel so this is like the experimental going to release kernel it's already available if you want to try it out but no one would recommend you to then there's this 5.6 which i'm currently running you can switch kernels on the fly it's just so simple on manjaro and then there's this uh, hardware configuration like you can install your graphics card drivers nvidia prime you can reinstall or remove you can even download or install others without going through the terminal like madman so then you can also change your keyboard settings like i'm from india so all of the keyboards are available i mean you don't find this bengali script on every keyboard right let me see ah yeah okay so oh yeah you can also set this delay like the milliseconds you need to hold your key for it to retype so you just you know you see it's a little bit faster let me just apply and we're done then you can also change this time and date set it automatically i set date and time automatically mm. okay okay yeah so everything's cool like i have installed it uh, just yesterday uh just nothing much okay so uh, let me just also give a quick look to the downloads here manjaro is available in many editions like you can the stock one is of xfce then you have kd plasma then you have genome and also you have the architect means the you know like server installations where no gui will be there only cli so these will be there and these are also community based editions like awesome dw awesome bspwm budgie cinnamon i3 lxd lxqd mate openbox and everything there's also some arm uh, versions of it for pinebook pinebook pro rock rock pi raspberry pi 4 and whatnot you can just go through here Karas, what is that i don't know okay so features hmm. configured with one click hmm that looks nice i mean yeah okay so you can search manjaro speaks your language new graphics card new drivers ah nice marketing time and date divide and conquer <laughs> divide and conquer i mean two user accounts divide and conquer yeah okay this is what i like really the best i mean switch the core with one click so that's it i mean you can do pretty much anything with manjaro i mean install anything you want uh, so if you like my video just subscribe like and share and don't forget to comment and see you next time oh and again tell others to subscribe also <laughs> see ya